Uh, welcome to Canadian Dividend Stock Channel. Uh, today, I'm going to talk, uh, talk about uh, top three Canadian renewable energy stocks, uh, which also give a dividends uh, every every month, every year. And some of them are uh, gave dividend uh, in yearly, and uh, some of them are gave dividend uh, in uh, uh, quarterly. So uh, let's move ahead and uh, start the uh, start seeing the stocks. Uh, so the first one uh, today in my list is. Uh, Elgon Queen Power and Utilities Companies, uh, so a uh, corporation. So this is one of the most popular uh, renewable energy stocks in Canada. Uh, Elgon Queen Power uh, Utilities is a, a diversified utility company in North America uh, with 10 billion in total assets. Uh, the company uh, engaged in the generation, transmission, and distribution of water, gas, and uh, electricity to commit uh, communities across uh, Canada um, as a growing. Uh, renewable energy company. Algonquin Power owns a strong portfolio of long-term contract wind, like wind, solar, and hydroelectric assets with uh, 1.5 uh, gigawatts of total uh, installed capacity. Uh, the company has more uh, than 50 power generation facilities and uh, 20 utilities across North America. So the Algonquin Power Utilities business uh, serves uh, nearly 770,000 uh, customers in 12 states across USA through 1,200 miles of uh, electric transmission lines and uh, 100 miles of uh, natural gas transmission lines. Uh, the ticker symbol for these uh, stocks is AQN, uh, which is uh, come from an utilities uh, renewable companies uh, with a uh, current uh, market capital of uh, 11.05 billion. Uh, the current PE ratio is a 12.98, which is really, really favorable for buying the stocks um, as of now. Uh, going to the dividend yields, uh, the dividend yields is a very stable of 4.74%, uh, and uh, uh, this stock is considered as one of the dividend age checker, uh, like this has uh, continuously increasing the dividends uh, for the last five years or more than that. Uh, so this was the first one. Uh, let's Go ahead uh, for the second stocks uh, in my list today. Uh, the second one I, I'm going to talk about is uh, in bit unusual than the first one, uh, which is uh, Northland Power. Um, so Northland Power, uh, like produces, uh, like is the power producer that develops, builds, owns, and uh, operates clean and green power infrastructure asset in Canada, Europe, and other global markets. Is one of the Canada's first independent power producers, uh, Northland Power, has uh, global operating facilities uh, generating about 2.6 gigawatt of uh, electricity uh, with an additional 130 megawatt of uh, generating capacity under construction and uh, even 100 plus uh, megawatt in uh, project pipeline. So Northland has uh, in-house development, uh, plant design, financing and operation uh, capabilities. Uh, the company has a long track record of uh, more than three decades in uh, the business of producing electricity from natural gas and renewable energy sources. So uh, as I as you see that this is a little bit growth based strokes but uh, also give a, a stable uh, dividend yield. Uh, so the ticker symbol for this uh, stock is NPI, uh, which is an utility renewable companies. Uh, the current market capital is 9 uh, billion uh, with a PE ratio of a little bit higher than usual, uh, 45.89. Uh, the current uh, dividend yield for these stocks is 3.02%. Uh, this is uh, not yet uh, a dividend estimate, uh, but uh, as the growth of the company is going on, uh, it will uh, maybe uh, join the dividend estimate list uh, somehow in the future. Uh, now, the last stocks uh, in my list is a trans renewable. Uh, it's a, like uh, many of you maybe know already that this is a very famous uh, renewable stocks uh, in Canada. So Trans Renewable Energy is a renewable energy company and uh, one of the largest uh, generation of wind power in Canada. It's a sponsored vehicle of a Trans uh, Ultra uh, Corporation uh, with more than a century uh, experiences uh, under its belt. Uh, Trans Ultra Renewable has developed a rich experience of owning, uh, operating, and maintaining a large fleet of power generating assets. Um, 
Transalter Renewable uh, owns and operate uh, 21 wind farms, uh, 13 hydroelectric facilities, uh, seven natural gas plants, uh, one solar facilities, and one natural gas pipeline in the US, Canada, and uh, Australia. Um, highly contracted renewable and uh, natural gas power generation assets, and long term contract with uh, strong counterparties ensure stable cash flow for the companies. So Transalta Renewable owns renewable energy facilities across uh, different region, uh, regions and multiple uh, technologies. The company owns directly or through economics interest more than 2,400 uh, megawatt of net uh, generating capacity and are strategically located to supply grow in, uh, like growing in uh, industrial regions. Uh, so the ticker symbol for this uh, stock is uh, RNW, uh, which is also like a utility renewable energy company. Uh, the market capital is currently 4.89 billion uh, with a P ratio of uh, 35.91. Uh, this company has uh, like given dividend yield of 5.13% and is also not in the dividend uh, ratio listed. Uh, so this is also like one of the options as the uh, price of these stocks is getting down a little bit. Uh, it's really a good time for a uh, stock to buy for long-term investments. And uh, at least I would like to uh, give a disclaimer that uh, all these options are from my personal opinions and they don't encourage you to buy those stocks or anything else. Uh, if you want to buy them uh, with a commission free, you can use uh, well simple trade uh, to buy these uh, stocks and you can use the promo code if you want to uh, open an account. Uh, the promo code is given in the descriptions. And uh, remember, these are only for entertainment purpose and not for financial advice. And uh, finally, I would like to thank you all for watching the videos and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a wonderful one.